This is the new garage. Me and Amanda got a garage together. And I got the Skyline here, and she's got her V6. And I even moved the Fox body over in case I wanna mess with this thing while I'm on quarantine for Corona or something. But Amanda ended up buying this. This thing looks pretty rough, and it is, and it's got a lot of issues, but it's an M. This thing also has these nice Vader seats. Even has the back seats. One thing is that uh, that door doesn't open over there. And another issue is it actually doesn't roll because the front wheel is locked up. We're gonna try to get that fixed this weekend, which means that we gotta get this into the new garage and get some tools. I mean, we could probably do it outside, but I have a dolly and a jack, so we're gonna back it in. Just like every other car that I've bought in the last ever, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that just gets left behind. But it looks like he found the manual. This is really heavy. I don't know why. Maybe it's wet. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's wet. It came from BMW of Towson. It's, uh, it's really wet in here. That's probably all black mold. It's actually a checkbook. Don't look at the checkbook. I don't want to give away anybody's info. It's a South Park DVD. Gross! Yuck! That's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna leave this out so it, uh, it dries out. So there might be some good info in there or something. Another really big problem we have is that this car has wheel locks on it from the factory and I don't think we have the key. The previous owner, he said he doesn't know if the key's around or not. So, yeah, we might be screwed on not having a key. I don't know, we're gonna search through it a little. The purple crazy straw, I don't know, maybe they liked margaritas. Not really gonna do much of a tour because we're still kind of moving. It's my old mountain bike. There's the bumper for the M and a spare tire. This is actually a really cool garage. I can use it as an office. If I ever did like a side business thing, which I kind of used to do, but been too busy to do. And this is the main area. You can see Amanda's beautiful twin turbo Coyote. Her 2012, it just, it's a pretty awesome car. Really like this. It's probably better than my cars, really. There's a loft up there to put some junk. You can see the insulation's falling down. There's even a bathroom in here. There's like a little rosebud style sled. There's a stencil for Ferguson's. I guess the guy that used to be in here was in the mini trucks. He built some really cool trucks. I think his name was George. I think his company was called Black Ops Hydraulics. I think he built all of his cars in here. You can see that there's still some stuff left. Actually, I actually haven't been in here since we got electric. We just finally got the electric turned on. Probably still gonna keep the old garage spot, but this will be the new one. These are all Amanda's tires. And now we're gonna back up Amanda's other car into this space, which means I basically don't have a new garage, Amanda does. So if you go on Amazon.com, you can find a different assortment of BMW wheel lock keys. They have a number that I guess you can find on your owner's manual, and you can kind of cross-reference that and get the right key. Because I didn't know that there was an no owner's manual in the car, even though it might be soaked and ruined. What I did was I looked up a multi-set of keys and kind of matched it up to what the lug looked like and hopefully this is the right size if not I'm not sure if I can return this maybe it was only like 10 bucks I think 12 bucks but uh, I think this is gonna work it looks like it's the right amount of splines you just want to count all these splines this was I think 13 so I think this is the right one we're gonna find out right now if it is and if it isn't I'm gonna wish that I just bought the whole set I think it's the right one Yeah, that's the right size. Sweet. This is obviously the bad side of the car. So there was a lot of like stereo equipment stuff in this car. Where there's gonna be some sort of drain on the battery when this thing's chilling. So uh, I don't even know if that's gonna start. That's what I'm trying to say. This uh, this has like a 
carbon fiber sunroof delete. I wonder if this was leaking. Cause that thing was definitely like soaked. This thing might just be getting water from this. I mean, this looks like a decent piece, whoever made it. You can kind of see through it though. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's cool or not. I don't know. Let's see if this thing starts up. Turn the switch on. You have to have the key in it, but I just got to push the clutch down and it starts right up. That's cool. All these seem to work. I guess it's got a stereo. Let's see if anything works. Maybe it doesn't have the antenna. Eh, whatever. it has got climate control. I don't think the AC works. I guess the fan works though. I probably shouldn't turn that on. It's probably gonna blow out a bunch of crap. Maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. So we're in here. Like swim we're. Alright, we need to go to the other garage and get some jack stands and some tools and all that good stuff. Might not do that today because I'm tired and I ate a bunch of cheeseburgers that Amanda made me. They were delicious. I don't know why this is so like, so dirty. I don't know if you put something on there to seal it up. Really got to figure out what the hell's up with this door because I'm getting tired of climbing back and forth on this. Seems like the window's stuck. Like if he put a different lock in here, I don't know. Got to figure this out. So, kind of like on the skyline, it's gonna unlock the other side when you unlock that one. Uh, because this key is different, it's not working, but it unlocked this side and now we can get this open. The window's not exactly in track. It seems like that fender's rubbing just a little. But the door is open. We just gotta figure out how to get this glass in track now and hopefully not break it because I don't feel like looking for a, a window for a 1993 3 Series or 1998, whatever year. Yeah, there's all kinds of bugs in here. I hate bugs. It's cold, so at least they're all dead. Looks like this might just never have been bolted into the track. I don't know. I'm gonna get all this adhesive off too, just because that's ugly. Probably have to just scrape that off with a knife. We still gotta get a trash can for the new garage. Really don't know why Amanda's not doing this. I'm such a good boyfriend. She really got lucky when she found me. But she's pretty cool too, so. Maybe we'll just take it all the way down, that way we can access it at the bottom. I'm just glad we got the door open. You can tell it hasn't been open in a while. Uh, a little spot of rust here. It doesn't look like anything is like really pitted on this car too. It looked pretty solid underneath. There's some like cross bracing and stuff. Again, more trash. You don't need this. Really gotta buy a trash can. Also sucks that this has a crack in it, but I guess that's not really like, it's still solid underneath somehow. I don't know. I need to hammer this out a little bit too. Hammer that down. Maybe the skirt will actually go on. I don't think the body's twisted or anything. The door closes pretty evenly. It doesn't look like that. It's like hitting too much. I might just take a hammer and hammer this out. It's just gonna be a missile car, so it doesn't really need to be perfect. And the roof's not bent, so it's definitely not like tacoed. Just don't know what the hell they hit to make that happen. Yet another issue that should be immediately addressed is that there's no like real hood popper. You got this piece of string that just kind of pulls on the latch, and this was really hard to get up. And we're gonna get rid of this and maybe put some arrow catches on here. The hood's pretty shitty, so I don't know. Maybe we'll do something temporarily. Like take a better wire, put it through the grill or something, or I don't know. This just doesn't work very well. Under the hood, we have an S50 that was allegedly rebuilt not that long ago. It's missing all the covers and stuff, so it doesn't have all that nice M stuff. It's like a ground that's not grounded right here. Don't know why. That's a little weird. And I was sitting outside for a while, so you can see that there's a lot of a lot of foliage underneath. Oil looked good, didn't look frothy or anything. The motor rev's pretty smooth. The oil could definitely be cleaner. It's pretty black, so we're gonna clean all that up. I'm gonna get a new air cleaner. It does have like a cold air intake on it. This coupler right here is cracked into a million pieces. That seems to be a common thing. Uh, I already have one of these. Came from Amazon. Came pretty quick. I think it was next day. I guess it's a mass airflow sensor. 
I'll probably clean that out and give this thing a good cleaning because it is dirty. Like I said, it might look like a piece of crap, but we need something that if Amanda wrecks it or if I was driving it and I wreck it, she won't be too mad at me. So it's kind of the perfect car for that kind of stuff. This is going to be a missile. I know these BMWs are pretty notorious for having coolant issues with coolant leaks. From what I've read, if you fix some of the leaks and stuff, the motor will pretty much just run forever. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of coolant to this. Can't tell what kind of coolant. We're going to have to look that up. Might have been swapped to some green stuff. Maybe we'll flush this out at some point. I know a lot of Euro stuff uses that weird orange stuff. At least that's where my Volkswagen was. It's mosquitoes already. It's, it's only early March and there's already mosquitoes. It does look like it has aftermarket sway bars unless those were painted. They look pretty fat. I said there was some cross bracing that looks like it's been done. Motor mounts look like they were redone. Uh, they're dirty but they don't look all cracked. The radiator is just kind of being supported by some tie wire. So we're going to try to fix that. Belt doesn't look too bad. And we're going to change all the fluids in this thing. Try to get it pretty clean. I don't know how that comes off. Brakes are going to be done up front. The rears don't look too, too bad. Feels like the clutch was a little, a little sloppy, so the clutch might need some fluid. I don't know. I guess it's the same master for all of them. Maybe the clutch just feels spongy compared to the other cars I got. I don't know. Maybe it needs to be bled. This is a fuse box. Really need to just vacuum this out. Again, with wood screws, it seems like all my project cores have a bunch of wood screws. Not my project core, but Amanda's project core has some wood screws, I guess. Can't tell what brand that is. I'm not super BMW savvy, to be honest. I just know they make good drift chassis, according to Chelsea Denofa and a bunch of other online drifters. Like that, uh, that, that Lone Star Drift guy. And the trunk, which is really heavy feeling because there's no, like, assistance. There's no struts. I guess he cut the trunk to try to save some weight. Uh, I guess he was going to try to use it as an autocross car. We actually have the battery out of the Fox back here. This did come with a free intake. I don't know if this intake is any different than the one that's on it. I don't know. It feels pretty heavy. You know, it's plastic. You don't want to leave your intakes open like that. Probably wanted to tape these up. It's all dirty inside. Here's some hoses. And like I said, it's coolant. Uh, some vacuum lines. These look like some sort of end links or something. I don't know. Maybe some rat turds. Maybe some sort of wing from some sort of insect. These look like the seals for the intake. There's some squirrel nuts. So there was a squirrel living in here. You can see the tops of some acorns and lots of poop. It's another thing that's constant with all my cars is poop. They're all pieces of poop. Uh, a little bit of antifreeze. A uh, towel that the mice were probably using to sleep. Some sort of light. It actually works. But it only goes to epilepsy mode, apparently. This has a really big hotline going here. I don't know why you would take a big ass red and take it directly to ground. I guess you wanted the car to burn down? I, I don't know. And, and this is a piece of wood. I guess that was like a amp mount. You probably use this as a ground for the amp. And then the amp probably mounted there. I guess it had a system in it at some point. I don't know why he got a new intake if the intake on the car is fine. A little concerned about that. Yeah, it looks the same. It looks like just a stock intake. I don't know. I guess we'll find out if it has a crack somewhere. Yeah, that's probably going to be it for today. We, uh, we remedied a couple things already. We're going to be ready for the Nürburgring in no time. I'm going to throw away this, this splue drag too. Just because I, I hate old rags and towels. They're disgusting. I don't know what was on them. Being that I've pulled so many of those types of rags out of cars, I'm pretty sure I'm immune to the coronavirus, I think. I probably shouldn't make that joke. Now I'm going to die. Definitely going to get it now. What did we get into this time? Why? Why, why, why? These wheels look pretty nice, though. Look at them. They're so shiny. Doesn't look like there's much curb rash, either. Okay. That's, uh, we'll continue tomorrow, starting now. Got more tools and a tool cart and I'm making Amanda put that together and there's butters. And this is a great setup. 
I'll put all my pieces of crap in here. Get this piece of crap out of here. Get it out. Today's top tip, you can get one of these impact guns from Home Depot for 10% less than Amazon if you make a big fuss and tell them that there's a pandemic and you could have bought it off Amazon in your underwear because that's, that's what you got to do. It's just how it works. But they price match Amazon, so I finally got this thing and it was only like 170 bucks. Yeah, you like that, don't you, Butters? You like that, don't you? Yeah. Bless you. These sway bar end links are broken, so we need those. And it looks like they tried to take it off maybe and broke it. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get the calipers off. Man, this car is such an awesome machine. Somebody texted me. It's Amanda, she's cooking lunch like a woman should. Know your place, woman. Just kidding. I'm gonna take that line off. I'm gonna replace the whole caliper in a road or two, so we're just gonna take it off and pull the whole thing out. You can see that I've been beating on this thing. It was really locked, which is weird because it looks like these things were really beefy. I guess maybe they were really hot when the dude parked it last, I don't know. And I just kinda like seized and rod it together. Cause that was one really stuck rotor. Hopefully the wheel bearings are okay too. I was kind of worried that it was locked with the wheel bearing and we need a whole spindle or something weird, but it's just because these are so like stuck on there. I guess this thing hasn't driven in a while, so this is going to be the first time it pulls out on its own. On its own power because the wheel was locked up and because that door wasn't shut. I'm not going to close the hood all the way. Amanda should be driving this out, but I don't know. She's not helping me. Maybe I'll just buy this car from her. And then I'll have all the shit boxes from all the countries. I might try to take this thing out and uh, get some air in that tire. There's a gas station right down the street. Maybe I'll attempt it. I don't know. I don't even know if the lights work. Vacuum that car. I look terrible today. Why are taking the video? No, I'll butter swims to come up. Climb up the ladder, period. What's up there? There's like a window over there that's like way up I just want to make sure there's no dead hooker skeletons up there. That's where I'm going to put your body when I kill you. I'm going to feed you butters. Can't wait till they make our Tiger King documentary. Oh, Prickle King. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Get in there and drive. He loves it already. He's like, ooh, Darth Vader yeah, seats. Why are there beer cans in here, buddy? I don't know. What, buddy? I don't know what she's doing either. Why do you need all the attention? Film me, it's a Butters episode. Bless you, Perg. Bless you. Would you like some wood? This looks like something we can use to flatten people's tires. 
Throw in the apocalypse. I say just gut everything. Get rid of everything. Make this full race car. You got your fancy car. M is for missile. It's a pretty good looking car. It's like a Harlequin kinda. Yeah, it looks great. What if we do it Harlequin? We'll take it to H2O. It's Buddy, what are you eating? Ew, buddy, what did you just eat? Probably all the rat turds I cleaned out of the car. I think that's what he ate. He's got that shit-eating grin on him. Da, 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 da. I still don't know what the hell you hit to make this happen. Put We're not pulling this dent. It's right there by the toolbox. Where? You, you are the ratchet. <laughs> Jesus, you're slow.